Hey guys, I want to make a really quick video about ground checks and why we might want to use ground checks in a 2D game. Um, oftentimes we want to use a ground check to see our character state. We might have um, situations where our character can only do things when it's standing on the ground versus not standing on the ground. Things like jumping and crouching um, and also animation states. We can't animate a jump or a fall or an idle or walking unless we know whether or not our character is standing on the ground or not. So um, implementing that with collisions is relatively pretty easy. Um, I'm gonna jump right into it. This video should not take too long. So first and foremost, we need to have our character and I've set up my Skelly character who, which has um, its main collider and a collider which is set to is trigger. And you can see this one here. And this trigger down here, this collider, which is a trigger, allows me to check when I collide with other objects. Of, I, of course, have a rigid body 2D, which allows me to detect those types of collisions. And uh, let me show you the objects that I might consider to be ground. So I have a couple ground objects here. And the way that I assign my check for my collisions is they first and foremost have a collider on them. And then I've given them some type of tag that signifies ground. And I'm going to use code to check against this tag when I collide with them. So each object here has a tag of ground. And then on my character, select Skelly. Skelly has a basic jump demo script. And this is where I check to see if the character is um, on the ground, and then that allows me to do some jump. And so this video is not about jumping, but it's, um, I have to, I use this script to check whether they're on ground to allow me to jump. So, um, moving forward, a few of the things that are really important to have a ground check is a reference to the rigid body. No, actually we don't need a reference to the rigid body. Some other script could have a reference to the rigid body, but we do need some code that analyzes our collisions. So this script is attached to our character, of course, which has a rigid body. And the rest of it is a member variable that allows me to keep track of whether or not I can be on ground or not. And I have this can jump variable at the moment. You could have a very similar variable called on ground, and then you can this is a Boolean, so it's going to be true or false. And you can set this to be true or false when you are on ground or not. And then, of course, you can have some other logic that allows you to decide if you can jump or not, um, what animation state you're currently in. And let's figure out how to do that. So we have this variable on ground, which is um, set to false when, by default. And we'll just jump down to the collision code, because that's what we're using to turn on our on-ground states. So there's three main functions, Unity event functions that we're calling. And these can be found in Unity's API. We're using on trigger enter 2D, on trigger exit 2D, and on trigger stay 2D. These two ones are gonna do most of the work. And these are the built the built-in data type that we examine. Whenever we hit something, when we have a trigger collider, we examine the collider 2D. And so the logic goes that we will check against the collision reference that we just collided with, and we call the compare tag method. And we're checking for a tag of ground. So we're hoping that when our collider at our feet collides with something else, we'll check to see if that object has a tag of ground. And if that's the case, then we will say that we can jump or we will set our on ground variable to be true. Later on, I set my reset my jumps because I might assume that I just landed because now I'm on ground. And we'll talk about that later for a jump video. But this is where I turn my on ground state to be true. Conversely, I want to know when my character 
or um, enemy is off the ground so that I can change its state as well. And I use the on trigger exit. So if I have a collider here and I'm currently on the ground and I my collider leaves the space of another collider, this on trigger exit 2D automatically gets called. And I might wanna know that if I'm just leaving this collision space with an object called ground, then I'm gonna set my on ground variable to be false. Again, then I might want to trigger an animation that's fall showing me falling, or um, my attacks might change because now I'm doing some type of flying attack. And so this is all allowing us to do different types of logic now, but this is our way of keeping track of whether we're on ground. One last thing that sort of helps with moving around in 2D space, if you have many platforms that may be closely spaced together or nearly spaced together is I've noticed that each block here has an on-ground tag. And just with my character moving across it, I am on the ground, on the ground, and then suddenly off the ground. And if I just so happen, because I'm in between this block and this block, my little collider here might think that, oh, I just left this block here, I should be off ground. And then as soon as I do that, if I wanted to jump, depending on the execution order, my character may not be able to jump. So having another set of code that ensures that it thinks that I'm still on ground, which I, I should be right here, is using the on trigger stay. And so I have what on trigger stay does is every frame it checks to see if we happen to still be on a collider. It's a little bit different than on trigger enter because the order of things is my character will move from this collider, I'm on ground, and then I will be entering this collider space here before I exit this collider here. And so the order of things turns from on ground, on ground, and then off ground, because I the last thing that I do is leave this collider space. If I don't use on trigger stay, then the last state that gets recorded is me being on ground false. And so I'll walk off here and I won't be able to jump. But if I use on trigger stay, it'll say, oh, you happen to still be on another object that is tagged ground. Your state is going to be on ground true. And that'll allow me to jump. I hope this logic makes sense to you. If you have any questions, post them below. Please subscribe. Um, my next video is going to be triggering animations based on state. And we'll have our character look like they're jumping and falling when they're on ground or off ground.